Hey everyone, this is Yan from Devolutions, and today we're going to be looking at what's new in the 2024.1 version of our solutions. Now, some of these are going to be some features that our product marketers have highlighted, as well as some announcements and some changes that we've made across our solutions. But this is just a quick recap and a, a brief overview over what you can expect in this latest version. Now, I'm going to let you know uh, which software are affected by the very features because some of them may affect more than one solution and some of them are very specific to a, uh, a unique product that we offer. Now, uh, as always, if there's any questions you have, I really encourage you to check out the blogs that are related to these. I'll put the link in the description below and you can always check out our forums, our documentation and our knowledge bases over at devolutions.net. So let's dive right in and check out what we have to offer you in 2024.1. All right, so the first thing you want to take a look at is our Devolutions Workspace application. Well, it's actually a set of applications. We have a desktop application, we have a mobile app as well for your phone and your tablet, and we have a browser extension. So if I load up the website here, you can see that we have all the applications available for free. Uh, if I head on over to the desktop tab here, it's available for Windows as well as Mac OS, and I'll pop it up here so you can see it. I'm logged in as my user Kelly into her hub business and you can see I can access multiple data sources of Devolutions Hub, both business and personal and Devolutions Server. I have quick access to my vaults as well as the entries. So just like the web interface. Now on top of this, if you prefer, we also have the mobile application, which is really useful when you're on the go. Uh, not only does it have access to your resources, your passwords, your credentials in a safe uh, format, you can also use it as an authenticator tool so that you can have one-time passwords from your favorite websites and access those as well. Now, the final component of the workspace family is the browser extension. Now, you might be familiar with this already because this used to be called Devolutions Web Login. So here you can see that our user Kelly has already installed the browser extension and she's connected it to her hub business, but you can also connect it to hub personal, hub business, Devolution Server and Remote Desktop Manager and securely access Vault credentials for websites and inject them directly into your favorite websites. So there you have it, a quick overview of Devolution's workspace, mobile, desktop, as well as the browser extension. All right, the next functionality is something that I'm really excited about and it's called Devolution Send. This is essentially a service that's absolutely free to you that securely sends passwords and messages, both in app as well as using a website that we have created. So in this example, I'm going to head on over to send.devolutions.com where I can put my email as well as a secure message and a passphrase if I want, and I will create a secure link. Now, this secure link can be sent to a recipient. They'll have to put in the passphrase information and that will then show the secure message that I sent them. Now, I'm sure you have questions about how the information is encrypted and who stores it and all that kind of stuff. Just visit our website to find out more about that. But basically, this is a convenient and very secure way of sending secure information to anybody both inside or outside your organization. Now, within our applications like Devolutions Hub as well as Devolutions Server, you can also still send securely messages, credentials, and so forth, either in the app, by email, or you can create the shareable link like we just showed in the screen before. So the functionality works very much the same way, but it's all part of this Devolution Send service. As we're on the topic of new things, we've recently added the Devolutions Gateway standalone version. This free service offers a self-contained web interface for external connections to your gateway relayed internal servers. Think of it like a web-based MSTSC that is self-hosted within your infrastructure with extreme speed and advanced encryption techniques. Once again, this application is totally free to install and is completely separate than a regular gateway installation that would be paired with a Devolutions Hub or a Devolution Server. 
Now, this next functionality has to do specifically with CyberArk users. Now, we have a lot of CyberArk users that currently use Remote Desktop Manager to better manage their credentials and their endpoints. Now, we've added a brand new data source, and this is called a CyberArk data source. And here you can see that I have all of my CyberArk credentials as well as my CyberArk endpoints. Now I cannot edit them because I have to do that on my CyberArk dashboard itself, but I can actually execute them and open them up. Just makes it really convenient to be able to use those credentials and those endpoints. In this case, it's an RDP that infrastructure already using the PSM for session recording and all of the other functionalities that I have enabled on my CyberArk. Once again, this is just a great way to consolidate your tools and integrate with systems that you're already using. As our teams continuously try to help you better automate the tasks that IT professionals have to do every single day, we've consolidated some of the tools that we've had into what we're calling the script dashboard. It's available up in the tools section, and here you can implement all of your PowerShell scripting tools for all of those uh, PowerShell aficionados that we have out there, where you can run uh, either locally or on remote servers your favorite PowerShell scripts from one one place. On the topic of automation tools, we have a feature that we've added in the toolbar to list macros, both typing macros and terminal commands in SSH terminal entries. With this release, we're adding a new interface to make it easier for users to run and select scripts and snippets directly inside their terminal connections. Now the default key bind is control shift P in Windows, but before I show you how it works, this works extremely well, especially if you're doing what we call broadcasting commands. So here I have three SSH sessions going on at once. I'm gonna right click and click broadcast input and manage the broadcast, which I'm gonna select all three of my SSH. So now instead of typing it manually, I'm gonna select the command palette here and there I can search for a macro that I already have. This is called an apt update, uh, an upgrade as well. It's just a simple upgrade uh, command. And then once I run it, it's going to run on all three of my SSH sessions at the same time. So really, really cool. Just another way you can automate tasks. So instead of typing all those macros out, you can save them anywhere in your vaults and then run them directly from the command palette. Now, a few releases ago, we added the integration of a Devolutions Gateway with your Devolutions Hub. Well, our teams have been hard at work at improving the functionality as well as some of the configuration options. And now when you go into your Devolutions Gateway in a hub, you can now actually terminate individual sessions that are running through the gateway in your hub as well as access some better logs to see exactly what's going on with your gateway. Now those organizations using a single sign-on authentication technique in order to log into their hub businesses will be excited to know that we now offer a self-hosted encryption service. This service eliminates the need to send individual invitations to users from your SSO provider. So this enables seamless onboarding across multiple devices by automatically providing your users with the hub encryption key. As we switch gears to the new functionalities in Devolution Server, I wanted to make a quick mention about our new release of Devolution Server Free. If you're interested in finding out what that entails and how it can help organizations with less than 10 users, go ahead and click on the video above to find out more about that. With the recent integration of Devolution's Gateway with Devolution Server, this has opened up the possibility to do several different types of web-based remote sessions like RDP, SSH, and Telnet. Well, our team has also worked on adding a brand new Active Directory dashboard, just like the one in Remote Desktop Manager. But this is web-based. Not only does it provide you with a simple and easy way to access your Active Directory users and groups, it also is a very sleek and simple interface that provides you with additional features that are not even available in your Active Directory itself. So this is a great new way to add users and groups to your Active Directory, all from a simple web-based interface directly in Devolution Server. All right, I hope you enjoyed some of those features and announcements that we've made for our latest release of 2024.1. If there's anything that we can do for you, please visit our website and we'll help you out any way we can. 
And also, uh, you want to check out the blogs, like I said earlier, uh, to find out what was in the release notes and everything that we had to offer in the latest release here in 2024.1. And also, if you like what you're seeing here, please subscribe and like this video. That helps us know uh, what uh, you are looking for and what kind of materials and videos that you enjoy watching. And uh, check out our YouTube channel. We have great overviews and recent webinars that could really help give a little bit more of a deep dive into the various things that we offer here at Devolutions. So thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day from everyone here at Devolutions. Thanks, have a great day, bye.